All right, hey everyone, Jammer here from Jammer's Wrestling Magazine Collection, and today's video is um, kind of a um, not the best video that I really ever wanted to do. Um, it's based on pretty much everyone knows by now the story. That man right there, Terry Funk. This uh, is a sweet poster of him, if anyone's interested. It's in this edition, the uh, Winter 94 PWI. And Terry Funk, of course, passed away. Um, well, when you see this video, it will be yesterday that he passed away. Um, And uh, I, he was 79 years old, and Terry Funk, to me, always felt like he was going to live forever. And I think it's because he made you believe that, just something about him. I mean, he was middle-aged and crazy in 1997 when he was world champion in ECW, and it just felt like Terry Funk was around forever, right? And uh, here, we, in 1994, his most hated opponent here is the Sheik. His favorite maneuver is the spinning toehold. Toughest opponent was Nature Boy Ric Flair, and his greatest match was versus Jack Briscoe, December 10th, 1975, when he won the NWA World Championship. So uh, I figured let's do uh, a little tribute to Terry, the hardcore legend himself, right? Um, so uh, shockingly enough, there wasn't really a lot of magazines with him on the cover, that I own, I'm gonna. I'm guessing the '70s. He was he was probably on there a lot, right? He was world champion, but uh, from stuff from 1980 up to 2000, it was very rare if Terry Funk made the cover. And uh, Inside Wrestling, January 1980. Here, the main feature is Backlund and Patterson, but at the top there, in the right hand corner, Terry Funk. Why you should love me and hate Dusty Rhodes. So. That was his first um, little cover there, I noticed. In October 91 of The Wrestler, uh, is the Funk family at war? Why Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr. were forced to wrestle? Um, that, I uh, believe, is in, yes, Japan. is when they wrestled each other. Um, for... February 1983 inside wrestling Rhodes versus Funk the bloody horror of a barbed wire fence match uh, of course Terry Funk always said Dusty Rhodes was an egg was an egg sucking dog um, inside wrestling March 1983 uh, NWA title uh, claimant Terry Funk demands recognition but we demand he be banned. Uh, I believe the story to that was Terry Funk had his own NWA title created and said he was still champion even in 1983, but he wasn't. Again, just a way for Terry to make, you know, get some noise going, uh, people talking about him. Um, now, that was 1983. Now, I went through all my magazines and I didn't find anything until 1989 when he appeared on a cover. Now, he was in the WWF in, um, what, 1985, 86? And then disappeared again and showed up in the NWA in 1989. And this is the wrestler, September 89. Here we have our urgent plea to Ric Flair, don't wrestle Terry Funk. So there's Terry on the cover giving Ric Flair the pile driver. I, for some reason, Flair is holding on to the table with his hands. I am not sure why. But, yeah, uh, Terry Funk made the cover there. And then November 89 of The Wrestler at the top uh, picture there, it says the Flair Funk Bash Showdown. So uh, he made the cover there a little bit. Um, I'll put that over there. Uh, let's see. Sports Review Wrestling, December 89. Full-color coverage of wrestling's hottest summer ever. And there's Terry Funk giving Ric Flair a pile driver at the Great American Bash. 
in their uh, world title match. And last but not least here, we have March 1990 of The Wrestler. I quit. One war ends, two more begin. Funk screams his submission. That, of course, happened at the Clash of the Champions. Uh, it was the New York one. I can't, I forget what it was called now. Um, but it was the November of uh, 1989, Clash of the Champions. Um and well, here's a little one here. Uh, Terry Funk did make the cover in uh, August of 1997 for Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Uh, right there, he's moonsaulting onto Big Stevie Cool, uh, a.k.a. Stevie Richards, at ECW Barely Legal pay-per-view off a ladder. So a small photo of Terry there. And I think, does Terry be in here at all, or is it probably not? No, it's Sabu and Taz. But there's Terry right there with the world title and bloodied. Um, so, ironically enough, too, for Terry Funk being like 53 years old at the time or whatever when this happened, when he won the world title uh, in ECW, he didn't really make the, uh, the um, what do you call it, um, the covers of the magazines. He, he didn't make any of the covers, and I don't know. I'm not sure why. And I just noticed right now, uh, one of Terry's last stories in a magazine that I know of, I mean, it's uh, the wrestler here I have. I have a wrestler from uh, 2002, November of 2002. And there it is. It's uh, Terry Funk, Kevin Sullivan, Abdullah the Butcher, and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, um, all going at it. Uh, a century and a half of hatred erupts for... Um, those four gentlemen, and I use that term very loosely, but um, it's, uh, you know, Terry Funk was a legend. Um, he was a hardcore legend. He was a wrestling legend. Uh, he, he is the reason why so many wrestlers got into the business. Uh, Dick Slater wanted to be Terry Funk. Tommy Dreamer looks like Terry Funk now. And, you know, after, after idolizing him in ECW, Mick Foley, uh, respects Terry Funk so much and, and the battles they had. And, uh, I know Shane Douglas looked up to, to Terry Funk and, and helped Shane always said Terry helped make Shane the franchise in ECW Sabu as well, looked up to Terry Funk and their battles and wars. And it's just, um, Terry Funk was so giving in pro wrestling. Uh, he always gave and uh, a little um, quick history for, for people uh, who want to know some of Terry's big title wins uh, in wrestling. Um, his first big one was the NWA world title in 1975. He ended up um, winning the um, ECW uh, championship when it was Eastern championship wrestling. He held the ECW television title then in uh in 1993 as well he held um the ecw uh, world title in 1997 he was uswa champion in memphis in the early 90s i want to say that was 91 92 uh he was wwf world tag team champion with cactus jack in 1998 wcw hardcore champion in 2000 and uh WCW United States Heavyweight Champion as well in uh, 2000, defeating Lance Storm in his hometown. Um, so what can you really say about this man, right? Terry Funk is just an incredible legend. Uh, I was a Terry Funk fan. I'm not just saying that because he's dead. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, when someone dies, oh, I was their, they were my favorite wrestler. Or that was my favorite actor. or That was my favorite musician. no. I did like Terry Funk. I did. Um, I did um, backyard wrestling when I was a kid, and when one of my characters uh, um, mimicked Terry Funk, I, I tried to be like Terry with that character. And um, and ironically, the character's name was Mr. Sexy, and, and it was the stupidest name. I, it was a joke name, and then uh, Mr. Sexy was supposedly got older in storyline wise and, and middle-aged and crazy. And so I, I would just sell things like Terry Funk and do stupid things like, you know, and I'm not saying Terry did stupid things, but you know what I mean? Like uh, walk around, like 
go, you know, like he doesn't know where he's at or doing like these weird cells and, and such like, um, and it was fun to do. It was fun to, to do things that Terry Funk was doing. So it sucks that Terry's gone, but, um, he lived a good life and he's well-respected and to be well-remembered. Um, and, uh, yeah. So what is everyone's favorite Terry Funk moment or match or interview or, or whatever? Just, you know, leave a comment if you were a Funk fan and if you, uh, if you enjoyed something about him. Um, so got to keep Terry's memory alive somehow, right, everyone? So, yeah, so that's the video for today. And um, hopefully my next video will be a little more um, happier <laughs> and, uh, and not so um, sad. So, Terry, rest in peace, my friend. Hopefully you're up in heaven raising hell, going after Jack Briscoe and Harley Race and Dusty Rhodes. And uh, to everyone who watches this, thank you. And uh, until I do my next video, I'll talk to you guys later.